about to ride a bike across, a quad bike across the country with three other mad guys in wheelchairs with broken backs and necks. Can I hang on to my handlebars on my bike? No. There's about 5,000 kilometres, but we're visiting our crash sites. I've got no stomach muscles. I've got no back muscles either. Our mode of transport, a uh, quad bikes, which probably are the most uncomfortable vehicle uh, invented. If we don't get there, we don't get there, you know, that's just how it is. But with the wedding, I've got to get there. But I'd just like to be there and just have a look and think, well, this is, this is, this is where it happened. This is where my life changed. Ooh. Hello, little kids. Well. Beautiful little kids. Who knows what happened to us? Do you know what's wrong with us? What? We fell down, we did that. All four of us on these motorbikes broke our backs through car accidents or motorbike accidents. It's when you break an arm or a leg, it repairs. When you break a back, it does not repair. You really gotta take it easy and watch where you're riding. Yeah, plenty of time to go fast later. Just start off slow. Been to the back to the track at all? No. I suppose, as I said, because we were so young, you know, like you had to really get over it quickly, you know. My father didn't even run because he didn't even think it was a bad crash. He walked over. They took us to the hospital there and they said I had a pinched nerve. Did you talk to your old man when you were on the track? Because I was 16. Of course, you asked your father what's happening. You say, I can't feel anything. And of course, he's, and what's he going to say? I'm going to tell my daughter, you'll be okay. And if he didn't say that, you'd be pretty shit scared. You just see that tape hanging on that bush? Yeah, it, this is exactly where it is. And then he says, mate, you've broken your back. You're never going to walk again. And I'm just staring into his eyes. Part of me saying it's bullshit, but a bigger part of me saying, no, this is for real. about just shutting my eyes. I just thought, no, I don't want to wake up. I've just lost everything. Hurry up, you blokes. Uh, she's waiting for us now. The best man's returned. She's here. She's been, we've been waiting for you. We had to hold her up. Is she here? Yeah. What did you, what did you hold each other's while you were down there? Basically, from the time we leave here, it's all dirt tracks through to Birdsville, going across the Simpson Desert, and uh, Birdsville's where my crash site is. It'd be awfully disappointing not to, not to get there, but at this point in time, there's a bit of a hindrance, being the weather, and uh, we don't want to take the risk of going into the desert and getting stuck there for too long. It's wet around here, it's wet. And, and it, well, it's definitely wet here, have a look at it. If you get stuck out there at Mount Dare or whatever, uh, you're there for a couple of weeks. Total is that rain now soaked in. That, well, the morning it's that 24 hours to soak in. Yeah, soaked in. So it's going to be even worse than what it is now. Mate, so that's put a dampener on what we're doing, that's for sure. We're going at right angles to the track we're meant to at the moment. Frustratingly close, aren't we? Yeah, it's definitely hard to work out why we'd want to be coming down this way. Holy shit. What's this? Another road closure, another bypass, another thing. Another condom in the path of progress. Isn't this great? I didn't know the outback was wheelchair accessible. <laughs> yeah. This is great, Craig. Oh.